you you went down the road of not going back to conventional medicine it sounds like you tried alternative stuff and then eventually your coach led you to medical medium he did so i've what i found pretty interesting is you've been doing medical medium for a very long time so long that you actually were one of the people selected in the medical medium lottery uh, way back when medical medium wasn't seeing patients but you would in, in, input your info and you'd get picked in this lotto system to actually meet with medical media i i signed up i went online and he had ten thousand people waiting and i just i said okay if it's meant to be it's meant to be and within two weeks i got called on the lottery system because there were over ten thousand people waiting at that time so i knew it was divine intervention because i know my life purpose now and mission for the latter part of my the rest of my life of what i'm going to what i this is it this is the key. This is the biggest healing journey anyone can walk on this planet. It's not just about healing. It's so much more too about that reconnection to soul. So now I see why all this has happened in my lifetime. So here I am, and then you know when he told me what was in my body, the three viruses, the HHV6, the EBV, and the shingle. <laughs> I was like, well, wait a minute. I'm medical. I don't have a rash. And he's like, well, you don't have to have a rash, you know. You know, he didn't say there were 31 varieties, but now we know there are 31 varieties of shingles, and the shingle doesn't have to have a rash. So it's pretty fascinating how I came yeah. to actually be in his presence, you know. Well, that that's it was very cool to hear that because, you know, when we first got into medical medium, we started listening to his podcast. And in that was when he had the lotto thing going on still. Was it? Yeah, he was just kind of okay. ending the lotto thing. So when I heard that you got selected, I was like, oh, man, you're so lucky. That's so cool. Um, yeah. So the conversation with Medical Medium was him just kind of explaining to you what um, your symptoms were being caused from. Yep, and you're going to do just fine. I remember, and you know, he's got that sweet, just caring voice. And you're just going to, you're going to do just fine. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay. And then, of course, then he tells you what you need to bring into your, you know, your body daily and whatnot. Of course, we didn't have a lot of this stuff back then. You know, and it's yep. not like it was millions of years away. It was only seven and a half years ago. So we didn't have all the Vimergy. We didn't have the books or the podcasts, you know. So, I mean, celery juice was in 2014. 2014. Yeah. Yeah, 24. It, it was 2015. Yeah right in the early eight, um, part of 2015. And he was a full on, this is it. I can't explain it. It's, it's, uh, it's almost like a download from above. But you just know. Even though I was at that point, you're like, okay, I need help. You know, because I mean, like I said, I was doing this, dabbing and flowing. So when I got his information, I just knew. And I was full on, I dropped everything he said, I dropped everything and I've been that way ever since. He was my life. I mean, he still is. But my life was so focused on his stuff when I finally got the truth. Because I had looked for seven years. And it, I mean, yeah, I would do this, especially like with IV pushes, but it was like nothing's really working here. And I was when they were doing trying to get the mercury out, and it was just one thing after another. And I did the whole removal of the mercury, you know, so something that I wouldn't suggest for anyone, but I did. And I really saw a decrease in my immune system, like Anthony talks about. So. Yeah. When he came to me, I was like, oh, my gosh. So when I would listen to the stuff, I would take note of things, and my brain was healing. And I did put together that timeline history, you know, so I could get others to see, you know, that were skeptical, that there really is a correlation here. And it, it was all of his information. And then, of course, you know, even down to what creates cancer. So I, I just I knew that that was a, something that I would be helping others to see and, it, and then it puts well, in their consciousness you know well maybe maybe eight pre-1890 there weren't all these things these fancy chronic mystery diseases i got a question for you in in this is kind of going back a little bit to your call with anthony what was it like on that call when he read you was it just an instant sort of thing he knew exactly what was going on with you before you were on the call or did 
he just did he take a moment and say okay i'm gonna spirit is telling me this about you you know did he did he pause at all during that conversation and, and read you or was it like an yeah, instant i only thing remember the three viruses that he listed i remember writing them down and i probably had a lot of brain fog at the time because I don't remember him scanning my body at all. He may have, but looking back, I do. I just remember the three that he listed and, and then saying that I would be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. It's, yeah, but that's all I, I just, I know he said more and yeah. I, I, I wrote it down, but I, you know, it's in one of my boxes and during the moves and whatnot, so. I just remember the three viruses. <clears throat> we're at a point now where you were given this information from Anthony. Yep. What sort of stuff, you know, he didn't have all his books out like he, he has today. So what sort of stuff did he tell you to to consume? Was there like a like a plan that was laid out to you during that call? Where did you go from, from hearing the, the true cause to a plan to execute and get yourself yep. better. Yep. So he did say he gave me a list of supplements and I immediately purchased them and got on them. And, um, you know, he talked about a little bit about plant-based, but that's basically it. It was a very fast conversation. It was only a half an hour. So, oh. um, we just, you know, did small talk and then he did the, you know, what was in my body and then the supplements. So I didn't have what you guys had, you know, I just knew that, I'm sticking to the plant-based and I'm going to take these, these supplements. And then, you know, it wasn't sure. It was maybe six months later, the first book came out. And I remember just like hanging onto that book, reading it. I read it seven times because I was like, wow. I, I, and so when I applied to that business practitioner group or whatever, I told them that I had read the book seven times and I was like, just in, in awe and gratitude of all of his information because I'd been searching for those years no, and I can't say that I didn't have fear. I had fear when I saw the fasciculations, when I saw that I wasn't improving or that I couldn't go out and run like I used to, you know, and it would ebb and right, of course. You know, I kind of thought, well, is this ever going to go away, you know? So that being said, I, you know, I, it was great when the book came out because then I could see the celery juice and all the other things and the 28-day cleanses and whatnot, so... But it's interesting how I intuited to really stay away from all the other stuff and and I still didn't put the egg and the dairy and the soy. On, on any of that never went into my body. Of course, it didn't a lot before, but I just stayed on that path until his books. Yeah. And then all of his podcasts came out. So that's what was nice because I could listen to those. And I would listen mm -hmm. to them over and over and over again. And I would just be like, oh, my gosh. And I did have a little bit of the brain fog at first. And that started to lift as I was doing the, the protocol or the tinctures and the supplements that he could give me at the time. And then um, when all the celery juice and the lemon waters and all that came out, it was like, oh my gosh, it was like huge, huge shift. Right. Because he did say EBV and it didn't click. I mean, I, I heard it, but it was the next day when I went, oh my God, I had mononucleosis at 14 years mm -hmm. of age and I was hospitalized and, you know, lost 35 pounds. So I went, oh my gosh, this is like right on. And then, of yeah. course, if you look back here, you know, the prolonged QT interval, and I had the heart palpitations throughout my 20s and 30s. You know, that's indicative of the HHV6. And then shingle, oh my God. I had uh, sciatica so bad, uh, I thought it was my running, and, you know, I would sit on a hard baseball for 12 years just to drive the car. And, mm -hmm. you know, Goscu, that came to me in 2003 because I was a postural mess. And I had sciatica so bad, I couldn't even touch my toes, you know, bend over to touch my toes. And I remember yoga even hurting me, mm -hmm. and I went into a studio up in the mountains in Colorado, and the lady in there had his pain-free book, and she said, that guy will change your life, and he did. I mean, I, before even Anthony, I got rid of the sciatica because I, he looks at the body as a unit addressing all eight weight load-bearing joints. But, it's, yeah, that helped me. But now, because I'm peeling off the layers of the onion here, you know, I, I had shingle in the pelvis area and in the sciatic. So there's things going on right for the last three years. So as these viruses are dying, 
they're going to go to certain parts of the body that are vulnerable because, you know, I had a bilateral saphenous ligation, which is a surgery for varicose veins two months po or two years postpartum, not knowing it was all about the liver. But I mean, I had egg size growing, uh, you know, varicose, and I was very thin, varicose veins in my groin area that were like very painful. And so I had the surgeries. Well, he nicked a nerve on the right side there in the in, down in this groin area. So where do you think the virus is going right now? As it's right purging itself, it goes right there. So luckily I have my Agascu now and Anthony's information and the ice and the hot therapies because it's keeping me going. So, you know, this is like, and I'm not giving people, you know, any fears that, you know, things will come up. But if they come up, you know what to do with it, you know? So. Yeah. Those are the things that are happening. I mean, for the first time in my life, I don't grind my teeth and my jaw. I don't even, I don't have an overbite. I've had an overbite all of my life. And it was almost about six months ago when I actually got rid of my overbite. And that's like, and that we know what that is. It's metals and viruses in the jaws and the joint spaces, you know? Well, that explains your, you had problems with your teeth, right? Oh, all my life. I've had root canals. I've had teeth pulled. I've had it all. Absolutely. And my, yeah. my family too, you know, they've had a lot of teeth issues and then it comes into the nutritional aspect, you know, I was born in the 60s. Well, they told the mothers it was okay to drink Coca-Cola. Oh, really? <laughs> it, you know, it's a drug. Cause my mother drank well, Coke wait. when I was, she's pregnant with me. I'm not blaming her. Yeah, I mean, even doctors. She did the best. She even even today, do. doctors tell with pregnant women they can have a glass of wine here or and there even smoke and a stuff cigarette. like that. Exactly, because the doctors yeah. smoke. You know. Yeah. That's just you know, it's all the the deception, and I would never ever blame anyone, never. Uh -uh. I have what I have. I have the truth now. I have to. I deal with what I have now, and I'm going to keep moving forward until I take my last breath with you know medical medium information to whoever will listen.